What's up? How are you guys today? Noodle Boy is getting a little bit back to reality uh, because today we're doing like a steak and rice meal. Very simple, minimally inflammatory with a beautiful porterhouse steak from none other than Frankie's Sea Range Meat. Just put a nice handful of salt on the steak and since we have a wood fire warming up the room, how could I resist having a wood-fired steak? Like I'm really gonna go outside in the backyard, fire up the grill and cook the steak out there. This is a whole lot easier and you know, killing two birds with one stone for sure. Now, depending on how picky you are, you know, you could almost really just put the steak on the coals themselves and it's going to turn out really, really delicious. If you want a little less maintenance to get a great little cleaner as well, you know, you, don't, you won't have as much um, black stuff on the steak. But uh, I did this last night and it turned out just fine. Now this is definitely a bit old school and you certainly don't want to really leave this uh, for more than a few minutes on its own, but surprisingly it's not actually going to burn that easily despite being so close to the flames. And if you guys have never had a steak cooked on a wood fire, uh, it's a uh, night and day difference, you know, really night and day difference. It goes from something that, you know, you kind of crave once in a while to something that you can eat every single day. So once the fat starts rendering, the fire can get a little crazy. I'm going to put a big log on top and then we can put the steak on here and have a little more control over the heat. It's fucking hot, dude. I'm sweating. Holy shit, it's hot. Only real downside to doing this is it can be a little difficult to cook the steak to temperature as the outside is going to cook really, really, really fast compared to the inside. There we have it guys, beautifully charred porterhouse steak. So in the kitchen we have the porterhouse resting on the cutting board guys. We got a new rice cooker for convenience. Uh, the brand is over here, it's Sakura I think, uh, Yum Asia, it's a ceramic inside and the other rice cookers to my knowledge have like synthetic materials and stuff you don't really want but it does a pretty good job today we're just having basmati rice with a little bit of oil and salt that i put in there after it cooked i think we'll break out some artichokes for fiber because we're having white rice some more fiber and gut motility we have some honey crisp apples after we do our steak we'll peel and cut these up as well and for dessert on the stovetop here, I'm warming up some of the bread pudding that we made last Saturday. So I'm gonna get uh, the meal together, ready to eat, and then we'll sit down. So my eyes are definitely bigger than my stomach today. Uh, we have that big fire roasted porterhouse steak with the artichokes, nice plate of basmati rice. And for dessert, we have the two honey crisp apples and the bread pudding. I think I can finish the dessert, but I'm probably only gonna eat half of the steak and the rice. Maybe I'll prove myself wrong, but We'll see. The steak is so good. I could definitely eat all of it, but I need to keep my uh, carbohydrate intake a little higher than protein. Since I'm such a pig today, I'm gonna preemptively take some masticum at the beginning of this meal, and we'll probably also have a little bit at the end. I mean, at this point, I'm sure you guys don't really need a nutritional breakdown of the meal, but we'll do it anyway. So the steak, high quality, animal protein, cholesterol, B vitamins, amino acids, really everything that we need for the most part to just be healthy. That's where the bulk of the nutrition is coming from. The white rice, carbohydrates to feed the gut bacteria, clean blank slate of starch to detox the liver. Very, very important for that. Artichokes, just a bit of bulk, a bit different types of fiber, uh, kind of keep things moving with the gut motility. And then the apples are to add more starch, more carbs, more gut motility, because even after like I'm full on this, we can still eat more of that. And then same thing with the bread pudding, increasing the palatability, trying to keep some weight on, keeping the gut motility high. And mainly because I've been eating a bit too much steak lately, so I want to increase the carbohydrate content to uh, balance things out. Now, I did have a pretty big steak earlier with some rice, so this is not my only meal of the day. 
Might be a bit too much salt in this meal because I was a little heavy handed on the salt on the steak. And these artichokes are salty because they're in the brine. It's about 10 o'clock now. And I ate earlier around 3.30 or 4. So my meal timing today is a little closer than usual. Normally I would end up eating a, a bit later so I'd end up having more food. Because I'm already kind of full right now. All right, so we ate about half of the rice and a little under half of the steak. I'm going to save this for tomorrow's meal uh, earlier on in the day. I really like the Honeycrisp apples. They're a nice balance of sweetness and acidity, and they're very consistent, but definitely the most expensive. That's actually about what I would normally eat, except I usually try to have a little bit more rice. Yeah, so after about two weeks of having those udon noodles every day, I... Uh, I finally got sick of them. Oh, it was fun while it lasted. Now, as much as I really like juices, especially pineapple juice, apple juice, they're pretty bad overall for your gut health. So when you remove the fiber and the bulk and like the normal digestion rate, you're just bombing out your stomach with sugar. And that will, in most people, cause like a candida overgrowth. And then you're going to have all this liquid sugar that's probably going to induce diarrhea. So, you know, most of the time you have the juice, maybe a nice treat once in a while, but every day it's, it's probably gonna mess up your digestion. So yeah, I've really just been going with my cravings and what I want, uh, as long as it lines up with the current diet restrictions that I have in regards to healing my liver. So really trying not to uh, deviate too far from those restrictions. I uh, haven't had this bread pudding since uh, we made it on Saturday, and it's Wednesday now. The top crispy parts are really good. I'm going to try to toast the bottom in the pan a bit more, maybe, next time I have it. So if you guys missed this recipe, it's a low-fat, egg and dairy-free bread pudding. So very minimally inflammatory, good for my liver health. And just to summarize that really quickly, you know, you want to take as much stress off the liver as possible. So remove most things it has to process, including nutrients. So that's why you guys see me try to reduce the meat and steak intake so my liver has less nutrients to process as well. And then the fat intake causes the liver to release bile, puts a lot of stress on the liver itself. So reducing fat, Reducing toxins, reducing nutrients are all kind of things I try to do in this diet. But you still want to give yourself enough nutrients and not cause dysbiosis and gut imbalances with too many carbs. Now, the main reason I'm eating this bread pudding is because I can't remember a time <laughs> that I slept after eating rice. Uh, so there are two possibilities there. One the gut motility from the rice isn't that great. Or two, there is enough arsenic in the rice to, to cause some sleeping issues, which I hope isn't the case. Because I haven't heard of people having sleeping issues just from the arsenic content of rice, although insomnia is a side effect of arsenic toxicity. Okay, so that's the meal. We're gonna wrap it up with some more mastic gum. Maybe another half teaspoon. So since this meal does have a lot of like white refined carbs, normally I would take like a vitamin B1 pill, but because I'm going to bed soon, I'm not gonna have the vitamin B1. Uh, normally, like earlier in the day with the first meal, I'll have the vitamin B1 and that'll be the intake for the entire day. But thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully uh, you guys learned something here and there. And uh, maybe next time, uh, we'll try to do like a full day of eating with both the first meal and the second meal, but um, we'll see. You know, just most days I don't really eat different things. Uh, maybe I'll try to do that for you guys though next week. So you guys can go to frank com If you'd like to support me through my businesses, we have that delicious, really, really tasty uh, porterhouse steak guys on Frankie's Range Meat. Wide variety of high quality products on Frankie's Range Foods. Cookie bars, I usually have those for dessert organ supplements. We have the masticum for you guys. I'm always wearing my 
Wi-Fi shielding, protective clothing, and then you can go to Frankie's Naturals to see all of our hygiene and cosmetic products. As usual, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining, guys, and I'll see you for... <coughs> oh, maybe I won't. Holy shit. I'll see you guys for the next video. <laughs>